Welcome back to another edition of CDA Computer Tips. My name is Christopher Duncan, and in this series, I'm going to show you how to create a form in Microsoft Word, and then we're going to convert it to an Acrobat PDF format. And then finally, we'll use Acrobat to actually allow people to fill in the blanks using their computers. In step one today, we're going to use all the tools I've taught you before about how to use styles, and we're going to make creating a form relatively easy. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn on the ruler. I'm going to go to the View tab. And here on the View tab, I'm going to put a check mark beside Ruler. And then I'll just go back to the Home tab. Now that my ruler is turned on, I can see I've got six and a half inches wide at the top. So if I'm going to have my first line of the form be, for example, their name, I'll just have the word name followed by fill in the blank. To get started, I'm going to come here to the More button in the Styles group, and I'll click on Create a Style. I'm going to call this first style Form 1 Line, and then I'll click on the Modify button. Here on the Create New Style from Formatting tab, I've got lots of different choices. I'm going to come down to the bottom, though, and jump immediately to the Format button. I'll click on it, and then I'll choose Paragraph. The first thing we will the first thing we want to make sure of is that we have plenty of space to fill in the blanks. So I'm just going to add spacing before my paragraph and make it 24 points. And click on OK. The next thing I need to do is add a tab stop. So I'm going to click on the Format button again and choose Tabs. This time I'll actually type my tab stop position of 6.5 inches in. And I want it to be right aligned. And I want to use a fill in the blank leader, leader number four. So I'll click on set, click on OK, and then click on OK again. So that's the first part, it's pretty easy. You can see form one line is selected above. And I'll just type the word name and press the tab key. And you can see it very easily fills in the blank. Now I'm going to press the enter key again. And this time I want to actually just use it. So I'm going to type the word email press tab. So you can see because this is style sheet is a paragraph level style, it's going to stay stuck on that style until I actually change it. Now I'm going to press the enter tab again, and this time I want to create an additional style for my form, where my form is going to be split in half. On the left side I'm going to have the work phone, and on the right side I'm going to have a fill in the blank for the cell phone. I'm going to get started by going back to that more button. I'm going to click on create a style again. And I'm going to call this one form half line. And then I'll click on the modify button. Now what's important to notice is right here it says style based on form one line. That means that all of the characteristics of form one line have now been inherited by form half line. I'll come down here to the format button, click on it, and then go to tabs. Here on the tabs dialog box, I'm going to add a tab stop at 3.1 inches. And I want it to be right aligned. And I just have to click on leader number four. And then I'll click on set. Now, I want to have another tab stop that's going to be the gap between the end of the line for work phone and the start of the text for home phone. So I'll add another tab stop position of 3.3 inches. This one I want to be left aligned, and I don't want any leader on. So I'll click on Set again, and then click on OK, and click on OK again. Now you can see I've got form half line selected here in the styles, and I can just type Work Phone, press the Tab key once, and then press the Tab key again to jump the gap. I'll type Home Phone, and press the Tab key to get to the end. Now, I'm going to press enter and we'll move on and we're going to create another set of lines that will divide the sheet into thirds. So I'll go back to the more button again, click on create a style. I'll name this one form one third line, then click on modify. Now I can see it says style based on form half line. I want these to always be based on the form one line. That way I know that any changes I make to form one line are going to cascade down to all the other styles based on it. 
So I'll click on this drop down and I'll just change that to form one line. Now I'll come here to the bottom and click on the format button and then click on tabs again. And now I'm going to add a tab stop at 2.25 uh, inches. Again, I'm going to make sure it's right aligned. And I'll have a four, number four liter. Click on set. And then I'll add a left aligned tab at 2.5. Again, with no leader, click on set. And then I'll add one at 4.25 that will be right aligned with a leader of 4 and set. And then finally, one at 4.5 inches left aligned with no leader, click on set. Now I can click on OK and then click on OK again. This time I'll type my city state zip line. Just remember, on these interior line breaks, we always press the tab key twice, but on the last item, we only press the tab key once. Because we have these set up style sheets up at the top, it's very easy for me to now go in, and I'll press the enter key, and I'll type a simple line like directions to press the tab key. Right now, that's set on the form one third line style sheet. If I click on Form 1 line, you see how quickly it extends out now and covers the whole width of the page. That's it for this first tip. I hope you got something out of it. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next couple.